Hi Scorpio, welcome to your April bonus. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, with this bonus reading, my intention is that if any of the monthly readings did not resonate for you or if some of them did not resonate for you, maybe something here will. So we're going to take a little peek into love, what's going on in life, and then messages, guidance, advice from the universe, from spirit, and then we'll clarify all the energies with tarot. So welcome in everyone. Hope everybody's doing well, staying uh, safe and healthy at this time. And so please uh, remember, only take what resonates and throw away the rest. May not be for everyone. Every little thing may not resonate for you, so keep that in mind. Could be past, present, or future. Uh, male or female watching this. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And uh, some things here may be influencing you from other things or situations or people around you and not necessarily your particular situation so please keep that in mind also and uh, we'll see what we get for you here Scorpio so I'm going to take a look at love life and advice for you for this bonus reading and everything you need to know Scorpio is down below in the description box lots of stuff down there decks I'm using social media how to reach out for personal reading so please check that out if you like to. And if you're new and you like how I read, feel free to check out my channel. And like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I uh, love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And you get about five different readings a month. So check it out and put your energy into the channel by subscribing. And hopefully these readings will resonate for you. All right. For Scorpio, Spirit, please, for the collective... At this time for this bonus reading, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is going on in love? What do they need to know at this time? For Scorpio, we have Our Lady Who Prevents Interference. And I have just got this for, I think, Libra. So we have 22 there. Two is about union, unity. So this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So Our Lady is in referral to Mother Mary. So, but I take that also as divine energy, universal energy, um, is preventing interference as some sort of love connection, some sort of interference that may be trying to get in the way of your connection or something like that. I think the universe is trying to prevent interference. That's how I see that. So on the bottom of the deck here, we have Our Lady of Sacred Union, 37, which is 10. Tens are about completions, and then there's a new beginning. So this could be a sacred union between you and another. And there may be something, situation, person, place, thing, I don't know, something you're trying to interfere and cause an ending here. But I think the universe is trying to prevent this from happening. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Very, very similar to the... Um, Libra reading, which is the one I just finished before this one. So, all right. So let's see. I don't know if anyone's dealing with a Libra. I don't really go over any signs uh, with this bonus reading. It's just some quick energy reading. So, so let's see what's going on in the life of Scorpio. In the life of Scorpio for the collective spirit. Please thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the collective watching. What's going on in the life of Scorpio? What do we need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oop, okay. Let's get one for Scorpio. One for Scorpio. All right, let's do that one. And we have divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. We have 94 there, which is 13, which is equals down to four, which is about stability, foundation. So being divinely uh, connected here. I believe this is the um, crown chakra. So that is total expansion, enlightenment, divine connection, higher knowing, intuition, oneness with the universe. Wow. So what do we have at the bottom here? We have the mind, openness, flexibility, imagination, learning, 38, which is 11, which 11 is being on the right path. 
and being spiritually led down the right path. And then that's two, which is unity. So again, yeah, I believe that is the third eye chakra, of course, because it's the third eye there. Hello. So, yeah, so again, you know, the mind opening up to this con divine consciousness. So I feel like your mind, your third eye is beginning to open. And so is it in your mind, your consciousness, your connection to even a higher level of um, <laughs> divine connection. Wow. Scorpio. All right. So let's get... Let's get some messages for you from the universe, from spirit, advice, guidance, what you need to know for Scorpio spirit, please, for the collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter, for this bonus reading at this time. What is the what are the messages, advice, guidance from the universe, from spirit for Scorpio at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Well, that was three. I just want one. One. The Scorpio, please. Thank you. So much. Okay. That's your card. We have a focus on success. So keep focused on success here and refine your attention. This has been coming out a lot. I think it came out three or four times in these readings, in, this bo in these bonus readings. So. I feel like refining your attention to something here is in focusing it on something that's more successful for you will bring you in like more success also. So there may be something you're focusing your attention on that really is not going to bring you the success that you want or need. So you may have to reassess and reevaluate where you're fo focusing your attention on and refine that energy so that you can have the success that you want. Wow. Okay. So let's clarify all this energy for you. And you see she's very focused in the mind. And we have refine and focus, attention, success. Wow. So, yeah, really need to pay attention here to your, to your mind, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, your thoughts, being open to learning. Wow, okay. For Scorpio, let's clarify these energies for Scorpio. Spirit, please, for the collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For this bonus reading, what is this about in love for us? For sacred union and interference. I feel like somebody is trying to interfere in a sacred union. But the universe here is trying to prevent this interference. So let's see, can we clarify, thank you. The King of Pentacles. So stability, stability here, practicality. Uh, wow. Three of Cups energy, my card just went all flying. Let's see, oh, we got the Ten of Cups. and the ace of cups so so we have the king of pentacles very practical analytical smart grounded secure stable um very cautious they're trustworthy kind of energy we have do have the three of cups i mean i don't really take the thir three of cups as third party not for me uh it can be about celebrations reuniting community social um coming together in some way they have the ten of cups here so there's somebody very stable caring nurturing giving very practical and smart wants to come together here of the three of pentacles uh, three of cups to have the ten of cups a sacred union here and happiness joy this is a brand new beginning in love it's divinely guided it's a sacred union so this is divinely guided brand new beginning in love love and emotions overflowing fulfillment deep emotions so a lot of cups here to so somebody nine of pentacles so somebody's single here somebody's single here but i don't think somebody's going to be single for long um not with the ace of cups and the ten of cups and the three of cups with coming together though we're all in quarantine right now 
So that's why we still have a single energy because uh, we're all on kind of lockdown. So let's see what else do we have here. The sun. Wow. Soulmate, twin flame energy. Uh, masculine energy. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. Happy home and family. Wow. And the seven of wands. Someone is trying to block this connection. Interfere. Trying to block it with the seven of wands energy. Someone around you. I don't know who it is. Um... And let's see if we can get a few more. It could be just Corona blocking it because <laughs> of the current situation. So maybe, you know, you haven't really spent a lot of time with this person. And, uh, yeah, four of pentacles. Can't give, can't give or receive. Holding back right now because of the current situations. Ten of Cups again. Are you serious? Ten of Cups twice. You both want the Ten of Cups here. Both want the Ten of Cups. But right now there's a holding back. Both energies. Because, you know, the world is healing right now. The sun energy here. So it's blocking it's blocking uh, this from coming together right now. But with Our Lady who prevents interference is that universal energy saying, you know, the world will heal. The world will heal in time. So that's not going to prevent this union. But for now, the sacred union is on hold, I think, because of the current conditions in the world. Yeah, it's putting everything on a pause. Stand still here. We have the high priestess again. So yeah, gut <laughs> intuition, gut instincts, higher knowing. Maybe there's no communication. I don't know. I mean, you can still communicate uh, to each other. But maybe, uh, I don't know if there's secrets. Or maybe you haven't been truly honest how you both truly feel with each other because of the current situations and fearing, you know, what if this person doesn't want to wait for me, vice versa, till the end of this whole situation in the world. But I do see you both want the Ten of Cups with each other, and this is a sacred connection, sacred union. All right. This is definitely soulmate twin flame en energy with the sun. Two Ten of Cups, both feeling the same towards each other. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Spirit just confirmed it again with the Four of Wands flying on the floor. Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Wow. Both wanting stability, structure, balance, uh, stable home life, commitment, marriage maybe even. A long-term commitment or leveling up the commitment. You know, spending time together. Fiery, passionate energy. All right, so in the sun there, you know, it's a fire, fire and passion also, but everything's on a pause right now, the hangman. And you do see the hangman there kind of has the sun enlightened around their head, so enlightenment. Oh, wow, okay. All right, so let's see what this divine consciousness and mind is about for you, Scorpio. Scorpio Collective, Sun and Rising Venus and Jupiter. Six of Cups. So this is, uh, you may have had this gift since childhood. And maybe you just, I don't know, maybe just becoming conscious of these gifts and thinking back, you know, the mind thinking back to like your childhood and saying, wow, I think I've had this gift since childhood, but I didn't know it. I didn't know it then. Wow. Wow. It's like you like sharing your gift back then, but not really knowing what you're doing. But now you realize, wow, I was doing this. I had these gifts and I was sharing my gifts as a child without even knowing it. Wow. Okay. The emperor. So someone takes lead, control, charge, and control of your mind, your thoughts, your consciousness, your divine connection. You could... You could actually have your own spiritual business or be, you know, someone who could do that. Because I almost see like a crystal ball right there. So, Emperor or Empress. All right. So, what else for Scorpio? What do we have here? The Hermit. Again, <laughs> shining your light, shedding your light, uh, doing that deep soul searching journey work here. 
Three of Cups. So I'm getting like spirit energy here because it's black and white. It's not color. So I feel like, you know, it's connecting spiritually to uh, connecting to the divine spiritual energy, consciousness, interconnection with the light and that energy. It's like being divinely connected and led and guided. Wow. Maybe, you know, in this hermit energy we're all in right now, really connecting to source, your guides, your angels, divine energy. Being open, opening your mind, opening the door, the doorway to that divine consciousness. Wow. What else? Yep. Travel, action, communication. I just got astro travel. So maybe some of you astro traveling or uh, something like that with your guides. Wow. That's okay. So we got travel, action, communication here. So again, communicating with your guides, your angels, your team. Wow. All right. Some of you could have medium abilities, and that could be this energy of the Six of Cups. You know, maybe as a child, communicating to, you know, passed over energies and not really understanding or knowing what you were doing then. But now I think you fully understand the whole realm of everything here that's happened in your life, the gifts you have. All right. So what else here for Scorpio? Get one more. One more. Knight of Wands. So moving things forward here. A lot of drive, passion, ambition. Taking something and moving it forward into, you know, like a new idea, a new creative project, idea, endeavor, business, entrepreneurship energy. Now moving it forward. Wow, so I'm being an emperor and empress. Okay, so that I think that's why we have refine your attention and focus on success. The Hierophant, again, is that faith, spirituality. Being divinely guided and led here, the Hierophant. Being committed to the journey. Learning. All right, I don't feel comfortable with that. All right, what else here for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. So yeah, you could be doing something here where you're not focusing your attention on what you need to. And I think it's this energy here. If you focus on the spiritual energy gifts and being in a new kind of mindset to have uh, an entrepreneurship kind of energy or something like that. It's not giving, you know, by not focusing on this, focusing on something else, it's not really bringing in uh, what you really need. Are you still feeling like lack? All right. So what else here? In conflict. So maybe you're conflicted about um, this because we got three fives. Wow. Major change and challenge here. So, wow. And I just noticed we got five, we got six and five, which is a mirror image here. So, um, so I feel like you have a major challenge change you need to make and you're conflicted about it. Maybe you feel like, uh, you shouldn't um, earn profit from sharing your gifts. I don't know. Nine of Cups. So we do have wish fulfillment here. I think you feel that if you do, you're being overindulgent maybe for some of you. But it is your wish, your dream come true. It brings you happiness and joy. But here's the Wheel of Fortune. So this is telling you it's okay to move forward in this. Wheel of Fortune can be about actual fortune. Divinely guided energy, what's meant for you. Things getting better, going in the right direction. So just know the Wheel of Fortune is looking at this Nine of Cups. So I feel like Spirit just wants you to know it's okay to focus on success in this energy and to refine your attention into thinking it's overindulgent and it's not right to, it is okay to do this as a business or for a living or something like that for some of you. Yeah, tower moment. So you're having a big shake up here. It's a big shake up for you. You're not sure. Not sure what to do here. Epiphany, aha moment, shake up. Breakdown, break up. Um, surprise. I mean, it doesn't have to be bad. I feel like you're just really sh shaken up about this and you're not sure what to do. 
you feel that you feel like you may like go to hell if you ask for money for this or something like that wow all right because i'm getting the flames i mean that's if you believe in hell i don't know if there even is a hell i think hell sometimes can be hell on earth but what else for this with scorpio is there anything else Five of Cups energy. So sadness, loneliness, heart, regret. Two of Pentacles energy. So feeling imbalanced, trying to find your balance. And the stars. So divinely guided energy. Faith, hope, optimism, wish, and dreams coming true. So this is divinely guided energy for you to follow your star, follow your path, follow your divine um, energy. And this is the guidance that you need, that it's okay. This is your wish and your dream come true, to follow your wish and your dream. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. So choosing lovers here, I think choosing each other once this quarantine is over. And also choosing the right path for you. Choosing that it's okay to focus on success. King of Cups, so being uh, natural energy, being in a loving, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate kind of energy, also having love here, King or Queen, love for somebody, major love. There's a temperance angel here is bringing in the soulmates together by having patience and healing and balancing energy during this difficult time. And the chariot will bring this together, will be driving this forward once I think this quarantine is over. And also you getting in your chariot and moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, balance, success. Two, your ace of pentacles. So brand new beginning, divinely guided to wealth, abundance, security, stability for the long term. Once you're able to get in this chariot and drive it forward, balancing, healing, patient energy, and definitely a lot of love here for somebody who is a soulmate to inflame and being aligned and true to who you are, what you can do, and knowing it's okay to move forward in a successful journey and to refine your attention to the success of this, of your situations. Wow. Okay. A lot of energies for here, Scorpio. All right. Best of luck to you, Scorpio. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.